What's going on everyone and welcome to another Satisfactory video. Today we are going to be talking about the new world grid, which was implemented just after the release of experimental version of update 5. And people have been asking what's the pros and cons, so I'm going to go into it and show you why the world grid was implemented. So here is the satisfactory map and I have added a grid on top just so you guys have a visual representation of how it looks within the game. So before it was implemented, this is what you would normally be doing, right? You would place down a foundation anywhere you would like on any particular rotation. But if you would control, it actually snaps to the grid and always faces north, east, south and west. So once you place one of these, this is now connected to the world grid. Okay, so what I've done here is I've set up a little basic line with your plates and rods like you would do at the start of any game. But the foundation is aligned to the world grid. So let me just show you that it is. If I hold control, I can just snap that there and I can bring that to there and it will align perfectly. So the one of the pros about the world grid is if you was we was wanted to build another factory up here, before the world grid was implemented, we would have to bring out this foundation, for example, like this, and then build a ramp from here to bring it up to the copper to then start working out, you know, what what the the, the factory would look like. So we could do this and we'll start bringing it out like this and, and, and so on and so forth. But now all we need to do is we can... Let me just remove all of this. Is we could actually just grab ourselves a foundation and just hold control here now uh, so we can build our you know our factory as we would without worrying about the whole bridge that we just made a minute ago but then if you decide later on okay let's let's merge this factory with that factory so what we can do now is just because this is on the world grid we can just bring this along just like this and just just connect them up you see how simple it is now just to set up the world grid the only difference and one of the one of the cons of the world grid is is the y axis uh, access axis <laughs> so is if we uh, hold control and we're at this height and we build here but then if we was to build here and hold control this is not going to be on the same height it is on the same uh, x axis but all we'll need to do here is just add a, uh, a ramp to fill in this spot so just like that. So that's the only thing you will need to do to fix the alignment of this, which will be just a ramp onto different heights because the terrain up there is not going to be the same down here, right? So that's going to be a higher up there where it's lower down here. And that's basically how the, the world grid actually works. And there you have it. A quick little video on how the world grid works and just how you could utilize it. It's just so simple and makes your life so much easier within Satisfactory. So if you've enjoyed this video, guys, it was a quick, quick video just for your faces to see. Uh, and so please like, subscribe, also leave a comment. And uh, as always, keep smiling and I'll see you in another video.